Well, what we're trying to do here is to use algae that people generally know as pond scum and to take those algae and get them to capture energy from sunlight and actually turn that energy into transportation fuels. Over the last several years, I think many of us began to realize, A, that we're running out of petroleum, and B, that climate change is going to have some pretty severe consequences if we don't reduce the amount of CO2 we're putting into the atmosphere. It was only back in 2006 that corn ethanol sounded like some miracle until we realized that the production of corn ethanol was quite damaging. We need new forms of energy that are much less harmful to the environment. Existing petroleum comes from ancient algae supplies, so we already knew that we could make something that looked like petroleum. Algae are incredibly diverse. There are hundreds of thousands of species of algae. It's a tough little survivor. It grows everywhere. They can be grown in fresh water, they can be grown in salt water, um, brackish water. If we can get the algae to grow fast, it's pulling CO2 right out of the air. So we're actually reducing the amount of CO2 in the air as we grow this. We first of all grow the algae on agar plates. We see these nice green colonies of algae form. We grow the algae up in a small flask. We take that algae out to our algae farm and then start growing those algae on a larger scale. We're actually isolating algae fats, or what we call in the lab, lipids. And those lipids are incredibly similar to diesel fuel. To really drive innovation, what you'd really like is a lot of American farmers, the same guys who made agriculture in this country so efficient. You want to get algae into their hands. I think in 20 to 25 years, we can look at making a significant dent in replacing petroleum. These are really exciting times where for once the government and corporations are all aligned around one central problem, a better way to generate energy for our planet.